The Aeronautical Development Agency has issued tenders for the design development qualification supply and integration of a low-profile head-up display for Tejas Mark II program. The scope of work includes design and development of the low-profile head-up display, conduct qualification and integration testing to ensure seamless integration into the aircraft cockpit, as well as rigorous ground rig testing and on-aircraft testing. The DRDO chief has said, that GTRE is in discussions with French firm Safran to jointly develop a new core engine generating 75 kN of dry thrust, which would be integrated with indigenous afterburner sections developed by GTRE, that will produce an impressive 120 kN class of thrust, and will find applications in the AMCA and future 6th generation fighter jet programs. New Space Research and Technologies Private Limited has unveiled technical specifications of its tactical interdiction and attack air vehicle at the Bharat Drone Sakti 2023 exhibition, which is a low observable multi role autonomous unmanned aerial vehicle currently under development for the Indian Air Force. The UAV will have a service ceiling of 6 km, a cruise speed of 170 km per hour, an endurance of over 6 hours, and a range of 400 km. It will serve in intelligence surveillance and target acquisition roles including electronic intelligence. At a time when Indonesia is in advanced discussions to procure BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles worth $350 million for both shore-based variant and naval variant for warships, Indian Navy's frontline destroyer INS Kolkata made a significant stop in North Jakarta, during which senior Indonesian Navy officials were demonstrated its front vertical launch system for BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles. Negotiations have been progressing well, and it is expected that the deal will be finalized in 2024. The first picture of Indian Navy's MQ-9B Sea Guardian drones have appeared on social media, that have already flown over 13,000 hours of missions across the Indian Ocean region, that are operating from INS Rajali Naval Air Base since November 2020. A Navy official has said, that the Navy will get 15 of the 31 upcoming 15 MQ-9B drones, that would be equipped with weapons including Hellfire rare to ground missiles and submarine detection kits. Sri Lankan Foreign Minister Ali Sabre has said, that Sri Lanka has not given permission to the Chinese research vessel to dock at its port in October, adding that Indian security concerns are important for Sri Lanka. China had planned to dock at two Sri Lankan ports, at a time when India has scheduled to test its K-5 submarine-launched cruise missile and Agni-5 Mark II missile. The Air Force wants to keep the order size of the medium transport aircraft to 50 units, and has also recognized the need to procure 20 strategic airlift aircraft to replace the aging IL-76MD. Interestingly, Airbus has offered its A400M under the Medium Transport Aircraft Program, and also as a replacement of the IL-76MD to the Indian Air Force, and if Airbus wins the tender, then a total of 70 A400 aircraft will be manufactured at the Tata facility in India.